in here again Dave doing a video for a friend today uh, draining old gas out of a mower had a good example here because of when my significant other left I guess she left some gas in the mower that she preferred to use on this hillside she didn't like to ride the mower too much after a bad experience <laughs> anyway this thing was pretty shamefully filthy also I wiped it down it still is in some spots but at least in my work area for today for video intent and purpose we cleaned it up all right so down inside i don't even know if you can see it there is some fuel in there not much no biggie different mowers are going to look different on my rider the hose comes out the bottom and the inline filter is just dangling right here it does have a clip that holds it to the side of the mower but this one the hose comes out the bottom has a couple retainer clips right there and comes around the corner and the fuel filter is mounted right here to the side of the block so or carburetor i guess anyway what we're going to do that's the retention springs i was talking about it has two tabs on one side and one on the other but you're going to want to take it apart at this one, right at the filter. Anyway, before we do that, we're going to do some other regular routine, simple maintenance that should be done first. Uh, before we even get to the air filter, let's do the most important, check the oil. Looks like it's good, but we're going to wipe it off. Hold on just a sec. Wiped off the end of the dipstick to get a more accurate reading. Alright, so we're good on oil in this mower. It's actually clean too from where I changed it. Next, we're going to check the air filter. Remember what I told you. Air, fuel, and fire. In this case, spark. We're going to look at air, and we're going to adjust the fuel. If it don't start, we're going to look at the spark. <laughs> Not too awful bad, I guess. It's a little dirty. I actually remember changing it. Time out again. I'm going to wipe it off. All right, I wiped the top off. It had some crud on the surface. You can actually like, read the writing on it again now. Anyway both sides. Uh, you might have this little foam cover over top of the filter. It's an extra dust screen. If it's excessively dusty, of course, take it off. Beat it against the side of the wall or something. Get it a little cleaner. You don't always have to just replace them. Alright, so we looked at the air. Get this cover back on here. Your little uh, Retention nut on the top might look like what they call a wing nut where it has an ear coming out either side and you just twist it with your thumb and forefinger like this. The modern ones have these plastic ones. Alright, so now we're ready to adjust the fuel issue. So, I brought with me a pair of pliers. I didn't need the screwdriver thus far. Brought a pretty good size jar and a backup just in case. I don't think I'll need it. There's not much in there. I'm going to want to grab those ears, squeeze that clip together like I was saying, and then just work the clip back away from where it's mounted there on the filter. Hard to do with one hand too. There we go. We'll get it there. Like I said, you're just going to pull this hose right off of here, stick it right into your jar and start draining. I'm going to hit pause to do that till I get it draining so I'm not making a mess everywhere on the back of my truck. Alright, so I've got that draining into that jar. Just going to let that all run out. I'm going to hit pause again until this is done. No sense in taping all that. Real quick, one other hint, if you take the gas cap off the top, of course, air will flow through and it'll run out a lot quicker. You'll drain it quicker. Anyway.
All right, so it's drained, and yeah, that's some funky-looking quote-unquote gas. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you're not going to have any car issues. You're just simply going to do like the reverse. Pop your hose back on all the way till it's seated up against the flat there. Make sure it's seated in those retention rings. And you're just going to take your pliers and do the reverse. Hopefully I didn't get that too close to the curve there like it looks like. <laughs> there go, Dave. Time out again, I'm going to hit pause till I put some fresh gas in. Alright, I obviously put it back on the ground also because my next step is going to be to try to start it. Uh, if it does start and it runs rough, don't just assume, oh, I need to put a plug in it. Give it about two or three minutes of run time, see if it will clear that old gas on through the carburetor and any trash. And if it'll clear itself out, otherwise, then you're gonna have to look at replacing the spark plug next. All right. At any rate, I'm gonna hit pause. Well, actually, I'm gonna see if I can set the phone down and start this. Hold on. It's gonna get noisy, I'm sure. self-priming so I don't have to do that. Just don't like that old gas, I guess. Yeah. 